Hey everybody, welcome back to Video MSO. Today we got a very fun and very random episode for you guys this evening because just yesterday, Tuxality released an update to their Zebo emulator allowing you to play some actual Zebo games. And if you're wondering what the hell the Zebo is, it is a Brazilian console that basically takes the hardware of a cell phone, puts it in a console box, and basically has a download only ecosystem. And one of the games that everyone's always wanted to play because everyone heard it was quite good is the Double Dragon game on the Zebo. Thankfully, we can play that as of today. So I figured we'd take a look at the game, talk about the Zebo, and just get a little bit hyped about a new emulation platform bringing us a console that unless you were in Mexico or Brazil back in the day, you've probably never seen or even heard of. Before we get to Fire Involved, though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, and ring that notification bell, it definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But going into a Double Dragon game on the Zebo, a console that barely existed and definitely did not succeed, I was not expecting much whatsoever. I've always heard rumors this game was good, but I figured, you know what, maybe it was just good for what people remember. But I am actually very impressed with what is here on the Zebo with this Double Dragon version. Kind of feels a little bit like a remix of Double Dragon Advance on the Game Boy Advance, and honestly, I am into it. I love that there's a Zebo ad on the wall saying now on sale. I think they forgot that maybe if you're playing the game, you definitely have a Zebo, so maybe not something you had to really advertise to people. But going into this, it is just a fun time, and I'm highly impressed with the 2D artwork and backgrounds as well. All of the characters, whether it's your playable character or the enemy sprites, have a good amount of frames of animation in them. They've got a lot of personality, and I am here to say, honestly, you should definitely download this emulator and play the Zebo version of Double Dragon. It is going into the hidden gem category. There's a ton of fun weapons, some good stages, some good combat, and special moves you can pull off. This game has way more depth than any one would ever have expected it to except for the people that played it back in the day when it was actually on the market and these games definitely have all been preserved which is a good thing because the Zebo being a download service it was as likely that all these games are lost the time as they would be playable but of course some intrepid users out there went and preserved the entirety of the Zebo library so it will be playable in the future just be aware that this emulator right now plays Double Dragon as well as a Crash Bandicoot racing game and I'm just taking a look at Double Dragon today because that is the one I've always wanted to play but there is a specific version of resident evil 4 that runs on the zebo that hopefully we can play in the future but getting back to the actual gameplay in and of itself this again is just a very good version of double dragon all of the move sets here it's got some great beat em up action with some good hit registration and honestly again just look at the sprites they are so well animated you can see a lot of frames in every single move this is definitely punching way above its weight on something you would expect it to do i will say that some of the boss characters have a little bit more health than i wish they did and you have five credits to start and a couple of lives to go along with with that so you're gonna have to get good at this game to see the ending but honestly how often do you get something like a new double dragon game especially one that only came out in brazil and possibly mexico playable on your computer that's something really fun to celebrate i love original hardware i love software emulation i love fpga recreation of hardware i just love getting new experiences that for the most part 99 percent of my audience would have never seen before myself included but tell me have you ever played this game before have you ever heard of the zebo before for, and were you even aware that there was a Double Dragon game on it? As we move on to the second stage, the other thing I will say about this game is it just has that fun factor. It's challenging, it's unique, it's different within the same formula that you know, love, and remember being a beat-em-up. Awesome graphics, awesome color, and soon I will give you a soundtrack sample because even that is good. This one I started, I really honestly went in expecting not to find much. I never try to basically prejudice myself against a game. I go in with an open mind, but when I heard that there was a double dragon on the Zebo. I kind of expected it to be like a fun five minute experience and then I could move on saying I played the Zebo version of double dragon but honestly this is a game I'm going to come back to I'm going to get better at it I'm going to see the ending just so I can complete the overall experience and you'll see here we have this baseball bat we can absolutely just wail away on enemies we also have some dynamite but again, one of my favorite parts of this experience is the soundtrack. The music in this game perfectly fits the mood and theme, and it is quite good. So go ahead and listen to 45 seconds of Zebo music here, and don't jump off the edge. You do die that way.
mean, come on, that's just some fun music, and the sound effects have that nice meaty bass to it that really feels like you are listening to somebody punch and kick and headbutt an opponent right in front of you. Now, if you do want to play this emulator today, be aware that it is a little bit of a different setup process. You actually have to move some of the games over to your local app data folder, which by default on Windows is probably going to be hidden, so you may need to actually select to be able to view those hidden folders. But other than that, once you drag the games in, you'll find a launcher when you launch the actual emulator and you'll be able to select the game you want to play there but again it's just two right now the library is very large for what it is so hopefully we get some more compatibility in the future because i definitely want to check out resident evil 4 on the zebo but as we're into the second boss fight here again i love the characters in these games they've got that double dragon look and feel to them with maybe a little bit more of a japanese anime aesthetic going on but they are detailed they are fun they have a little bit of a super deformed look to them and they are just fun to absolutely play punch and kick and you'll see here you have a full run mechanic and when you beat that boss he basically dissolves into nothing now moving on to the third stage this golden hour sunset highway here again i just can't believe i'm having as much fun with this game as i actually am this is the type of thing again you would wonder what would be on the zebo because it was for a very small market but honestly the developers clearly loved this franchise and enjoyed developing it because they put some solid work into it and gave us all a really fun experience and of course you'll see here you can play as two player as well there is a section on the screen for that you just need to set the controls up and i just plugged in my xbox series x controller and the emulator automatically found it it bound all the buttons and i was able to play so honestly if you plug in any x input controller you should have the exact same experience and on the controls and handling pretty much everything works exactly as you would expect the only thing i wish the game did a little bit better is that your stagger state takes a little bit too long you can get staggered by opponents in this game and it takes about maybe one and a half seconds until you regain control so you can definitely get into a situation where you get juggled a little bit too much but now we picked up a battle axe definitely making this have a little bit of a golden axe vibe to it as well just on the weapons but this is what i love about gaming and the people that love these consoles somebody went out there spent years writing an emulator for the zebo just so they and other fans and other retro gaming fans that don't even know what the zebo is can experience that hardware and that's absolutely something that should be celebrated now that we have the toxic avenger coming into fight as well but one more taste of the soundtrack because it is spectacular for this game and i'll be right back and tell you a little bit more about the zebo Double Dragon as a franchise always had good music and here on the Zebo, it is as good as it ever was and I'm just hyper impressed by what's going on here. You'll see these men in business suits kicking all of that blur animation within the actual sprite itself. There is a lot of love and attention put into this game and take my word for it, give it a shot if you're a fan of Double Dragon or beat em ups in general. Not only are you going to have a fun time, but you're going to get to experience a game console that you've probably never seen in your life. I collect a metric crap ton of stuff and I do not have a Zebo on the shelf. I'll probably never add one just because honestly now that I can play it this way that satisfies me but this is the type of thing that is just so much fun about gaming and its fans. Today you can play a Zebo emulator playing a game that was basically just made for one region that was download only and you get to find that the game is actually quite competent, a ton of fun with great artwork, great sprites and a great soundtrack. That is definitely a gift to gaming to be able to play something like this. And again, tell me down below, I do know that I have some Brazilian viewers, so maybe you've played this game before. Anyone who lived in an area in which the Zebo came out retail back in the day, I'd love to hear whether or not you owned one and your experiences with it, because I know that I have a decent amount of Brazilians in the comments here and there. But Double Dragon on the Zebo is like a 9 out of 10 beat em up game. And I'm not just upping the score because it is rare. It's fun, it's unique, it's different, while feeling very familiar. It's got a great soundtrack and it's just a ton of fun. Short of that, we are done. Go play some Zebo and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.